This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We're on a job today in Jamestown and we're doing a clean out, mostly job today. So they've got this catch basin, which doesn't catch any more water. And if you look at it, it's full of debris. So we're gonna get that cleaned out. And uh, we've got these downspouts that aren't doing anything. This is all full right here. So we're gonna try to clean that out. This one and this catch basin here come out over here, right here. So usually the only way I'll do a clean out is if I can access both ends of it. So I can run the jetter hose that way, I can run it this way and hope to have good success. Around the corner here, this one's also clogged up, but he doesn't know where it comes out. So all we're gonna do here is an above ground pipe and once we drop onto this concrete, it sheds away. Hold on a second. All right, you don't like that tiny little shovel? It's too much work? Well, it's about efficiency. I have no doubt that we'll need it to do the Finish. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to mess up the bucket. The catch basin, I should say. That is some fine organic matter, isn't it? It is, and some roots to boot. So, I think they got roots growing in here. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Gotta hope we can get it cleaned out. It is safe to say that this has been. Yeah, going on for a while. Yeah, there's a good drainage system. On their front patio here, let me show you what we've got going on. So this gutter goes underneath this concrete here and they have no idea where it comes out. They've, they've searched and searched and searched and when it rains, this thing just like erupts water out of it. And so all this water is going into the ground somewhere. They have no idea where it's coming out. So since we don't know where it's coming out, we can't really clean it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an above ground pipe and we're going to push it across here through this natural area. And we're going to catch this one as well. And we're gonna send it across here above ground and we're gonna end it like right here. And so a couple considerations, that's gonna put water onto this driveway here on the neighbor. And if you look at this driveway, it's already sloping to where it's sending water that way. So the homeowner talked to the neighbor, they're fine with a little bit more water ending on their driveway and then this water is just going to trickle down a little bit and kind of disperse but they have all this corrugated pipe and it's just it's completely completely solid there's just no way to clean all that out and we talked about trenching over here and there's a bunch of tree roots and so we're just kind of trying to kick the water away so look at all these tree roots So there's just not really a super good way to trench through all this. And this one in the corner here, we're just gonna put a elbow on it and just dump it out this way. And the creek is right there. So if they want to, we can come back and actually bring an excavator and trench through here. But for now, they just wanna get the, the water away because right now everything is just like exploding right next to the foundation. Across the back here, this one, it's going across and we do, we do know where it is out here by the creek. So we're gonna try to clean this one out. This one over here, they don't know where it comes out. And so we're just gonna put a elbow right there and drop it onto the concrete and it'll, it'll shed across. And then same thing with this one on the corner, we don't know where it comes out. So we're gonna do an above ground pipe and dump it right here onto the pavement 
and that way it just kind of disperses across here. All right, Jeremy just hit the bottom here, and I wanted to show you this is what we're dealing with. So that pipe is slam full, so it's going to be interesting to see if the jetter hose and the sewer snake will get through there. As far as cleaning out corrugated pipe goes, my favorite tool to do that is a pressure washer here and a jetter hose. So let me show you the jetter hose. This has a special tip on it and it has one, let me see if I can get, get a shadow. It's got one jet that sprays forward right there and three jets that spray backwards. And so it not only does it go through and, and shoot its way through, but it, it has the three things it has the three going backwards too, and that's going to propel it forward through the pipe. So if this doesn't work, we then move to a rounded bit on the sewer snake here. Now this also comes with a cutter head on it right here, but there's a good chance that could damage the corrugated pipe. So if you're using PVC, this will cut right through anything. We have to be a little bit more careful because it's corrugated, so we've got this rounded tip. So Cleaning out corrugated is a very, it, it's, you, you can try it, but no guarantees kind of thing. A very what now? Very tight and loose. As in like, uh, well secured loose. Yeah. Alright. Where do you want this done? Or are we taking it with us? No, we'll just dump it. Okay. But I want to get it on camera first, so just leave it. Yep. All right, there's what came out of that fitting. These are all the male reproductive parts of the oak trees. These are, these are called catkins. They're what shed the pollen, but they, when they get shed, they clog everything up. So. A catkin, a spike or spike-like inflorescence made of unisexual flowers, willows, poplars, and cottonwoods are plants bearing catkins. Well, that doesn't really tell you anything. Let's take a look in here. Catkin, a scaly, bracked, usually flexed spike or spike-like inflorescence of Samuel's ament, as in the Betulaceae. Eh, we were looking at oaks. So let's take a look here. Fag ACE 370. I used to be able to just turn to each family because I use this book so often. All right, Fag ACE. Monoecious trees or shrubs leave simple, alternate, entire, lobed, cleft, or parted, vein straight, stipules, caudis, staminate flowers in axillary catkins or in globus heads. Pistillate flowers, solitary or in small clusters with short spikes. Styles three. Fruit, a nut enclosed or partly enclosed by an involucre or cup of holy or part, partly fused hardened bracts. All right, so the important thing to know about catkins is they are a derived adaptation for wind pollination in the angiosperm. So even though that wind pollination in gymnosperms is thought to be ancestral, wind pollination and angiosperms, especially in the temperate zone, is derived. So make sure you keep that in mind. Let's take a look. Oh. Nice. Yeah, it's jam-packed in there. Okay. Yeah, I can't get any farther, but it's all yeah. that stuff. Well, let's, let's run the garden hose in there and try to fill it up and get some head pressure on it. Okay. And then we'll come in from the bottom down here. Okay. It's just not coming out. 
Yeah. And you're not even getting in there a foot. Yeah. Gosh. I'm hitting something. Maybe a root system? Yeah. All right, let's get the snake out, I guess, and see what we can do. Okay. Unless you want to try going in from the top, since we've already got this all set up. Why don't we try going from the top just to, uh, just to keep it, try to preserve the pipe as best we can, go in from the top, give it a try. If not, we do the snake. Okay, and we've already got it all set up, so we can just take it over there. We're not getting anywhere with this either, so we're gonna try the snake. All right, we got some water on this thing. It, it was like five seconds. Oh, come on, turn off, turn off, turn off. Okay. So I like to put a little bit of head pressure on it, but that, that was so clogged it didn't really even matter. And we're going to try, gonna try the snake. All right, just push on the lever and it should push it forward or backwards depending on which way you're turning. Okay. This thing is just holding water here. It's not doing anything. I just don't know if it's gonna work or not, you know? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. So what you do is when it's going easy, you let it go and see how it's binding? Yeah. Let it let off on it, let it spin. Yep. Okay, and now it seems like it's going easy again. Feed it a little bit more. Give it a little bit more. Now it's binding up. You don't you don't want this thing to start binding. Yes. So you want it to try to stay straight. And you can work it back and forth. Right. You can move it around a little bit. But as soon as it starts binding, you gotta just ease off. Yep. Let's try coming in from the, the top. Okay. Okay, so we're running water in here. Take a look. And it's coming out right there. And then it's also flowing through here. I think this pipe right here is going this way. Let me run some more water in here. Yeah. It's coming out right here too. And then it's flowing in through that cracked pipe right there. Well, if you want, we could probably maybe try to jetter again. You want to maybe try to jetter? Yeah, we can. Yeah, I think the pipe is probably crushed underneath these steps and everything else. Yeah. I mean, we didn't even get... I wonder how far we got. I'm sure you can tell that at this point we're just wasting our time. The corrugated pipe that we thought was coming out is not the right one. There's just... It, the thing is just completely slammed with organic matter and roots. Our, our jetter won't go through it. The snake won't go through it. We don't know where where it's coming out it's just no water's flowing through it and we're screwing around with this catch basin here and it's just a solid plug of roots and even if i can get the snake to go through there it'll make like a one inch hole because it's just so completely packed with roots okay this is still clogged up 
and completely stop, but I did get the snake to go this far. And Jeremy said he could hear the snake in this pipe here. So we're hoping that there's a T right there. And if we can get into that, we may be able to get this working again. So I think what's going on here is we have a pipe going across here. Jeremy said he could hear it over here. But, and this, this is getting a little bit wet in there. The problem is we still don't have 100% confirmation. And I got the snake to like right over here somewhere. So we're gonna try running it through that T this way and that catch basin should drain right away. If that's the case, then I just talked to the homeowner. We're gonna try to dig all this up and get our fall right and get a PVC pipe in there. So we'll catch the catch basin, this, and that one down there, and then just dump it on the sidewalk. So let's see how we do. There it is. That's it. Okay, stretch that out and see how far we got. So I think we're right there. Yeah, you're just short. Let me try sending it through since we cleaned all those roots off one more time yeah. and see if it does anything. Yeah, because I think that it plugged the cutting face. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we're through. So that's just the level of where that pipe is blocked up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that level and this level should be the same. I mean, you can see it overflowing right there. All right. Cool deal. Success so far. There you go. At this point in the job, things are not going well. The corrugated pipe wasn't going where we thought it was. We were having a horrible time getting it cleaned out. And now we're going to change this over to PVC, which is going to work way, way better. But we weren't really planning on doing all this work. It wasn't supposed to be this difficult. So morale is getting a little bit low here. We're trying to get this done, trying to do a really good job for the homeowner. There you go. Beautiful. Look at that corrugated pipe. Okay, so our plan is to get a solid PVC pipe connected to this T, which will drain that catch basin, this gutter, and we're now trying to get our fall right. So you see how deep that is? Let's see if we can use the brick. So let's say that, that course right there. I'm trying to stay on it for you all. You see how we're falling down here, but because that's so deep right there, we're having to trench a little bit deeper to get our fall. The hardest part of this job, I think, is gonna be exposing this thing so that we can get onto that corrugated pipe. So that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to get it into our PVC. Oh, 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 oh. Here we get the 
shovel in there. No, I switch. I'm looking at this tee right here. This is a corrugated tee. And the problem is the pipe we need to hook onto the corrugated pipe is back under this slab. And I'm trying to decide if I want to try to pull the tee out and get a, the connection I want on there, which is a Fernco. And I just don't know. It would be super slick if we could get it PV, turned into PVC. But it's just a unknown if I can get back up in there far enough or not. So I think my first instinct is to pull this tee out of here and then just deal with trying to get it connected instead of trying to leave it in here. Talk about a pain, but I got that corrugated pipe exposed. So now I'm hoping I can get this fern co on there, and that goes from corrugated to schedule 40. We're just about, about there. barely breaking the wrong way. So let me just get a little bit more dirt out from underneath this thing. Right there. That's all it took to get that band in place. A variety of formats, depending on how they set the podcast up. Um, all right, we are reaching capacity on our button. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> what do you think? I want to get that bend. Yeah, see if we can get it to bend. I think that's all it took. That's all it took to get that band in place. But actually, that's on there. Okay, I think that was worth that extra work to get that corrugated T out of there and get a good solid connection on that thing. And look at that, we got a full bubble there, so we've got a little bit of room to play with if we need to pull it up a little bit. Okay, all right, now we need to hook this into this gutter. All right, we've got our sanitary T hooked on to the old corrugated going to our catch basin right there and now we're going to see if we can slide this all through here hmm.
that gets you past. Yeah, you're gonna have to have a way to ease the angle. Looks like. Well, we know it's leaking. All right, see if you can. You're gonna have to use the. That's it. That's it. Yep. Okay. All right. So. Okay, we're at almost a full bubble there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not really sure how you're going to get that though. Now you gotta want it a lot more than that. All right. It moved a little bit. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, this band probably needs to be loosened up a little bit too. I thought I had it pretty loose. All right, try. Whacking it again? Try whacking it again, yeah. Oh yeah, that went. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So what you're saying? Because I didn't have the band loosened. That was wrapping into a too small area. All right. Okay. So this is one that comes for the surface, huh? Okay, we got that front in there for a custom angle. Okay, we got our fern co onto our existing corrugated. We got this gutter caught and we got around this power right here and then the grounding rod. Go ahead and pull that shovel out of there. So we used a fern co, a flexible coupling for a custom angle right there. And we've got about a half a bubble or so right there. And then we're down to a full bubble there. So, we're flying. Ah, not an elegant process, but it works. It's a lot easier than shoveling it back off the ground. It is, actually. And before we get too far, we should probably start cleaning out that other section. Okay. We're trying to get that length of corrugated pipe cleaned out a little bit better before we continue on any further. So I wanted to get this length of pipe in here so that our we didn't create a big huge muddy mess right there where we were trying to get all that important work done. Your camera wasn't on, man. Okay, I've been working on this for quite a while here. Just running the hose, running the snake, running the jetter through here. So, it's flowing pretty well. Let me turn the water back on and show you. So we're continuing on down the line here.
we've kind of got another custom angle right here. So I'm gonna cut it right there and we're gonna put a, another fern curl on there. All right, can you lift it up straight? <clears throat> that it? I get it straight, but it's... Alright, drop her down. Boom. Cool. Is that enough removed right here? Yep. Alright, so regular couple? <coughs> yeah, I think so. Should be some around. Yeah, yeah, right up here. That fern co gives you just a little bit of a tweak where a regular glue-in coupler doesn't give you much room to, to move it. So now we're heading on down the way. So that corrugated pipe, there's no way that's going to get cleaned out, so we're going to do the above ground across here. Okay, you ready? Yep. Alright. I drop it down a little bit. How's that? Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. Is that good? Yep. Okay. Got your tape? Yep. Run into the gutter. It was leaking all over the new concrete. Oh, seriously? Yep. But the homeowner was like, I'll get the, I'll do it. Yep. I tried to tell him I couldn't get it, but he said, no, I'm not going to. All right, go, go past the room. A little bit more, a little bit more. How's that? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. Okay. The buckets of dirt we have just kind of lose along the lengths. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Good. You can assume that. I am going to imagine that it's not going to be enough to cover it. Okay, we got our pipe in over here, and we're just dropping this onto the concrete. Once it hits the concrete, it's flowing away. So it's not super, super elegant, but for what they're trying to accomplish, which is getting the water off the foundation, the, cor the, cor the corrugated pipes had the water right up against the foundation because they were all clogged. Now, we're at least heading down to the creek. For this next gutter, we're just gonna add an elbow on here and kick it out onto the concrete. This thing is all clogged up. You can see, I think this is probably the same pipe here, but we don't really know, but there's just no way to unclog all that. And then we're not even sure where it goes.
I think that might have been why they pounded it, because this thing pulled out. That's a flat opening now. Well, but it's jammed in there pretty good. Do we have any bricks? Just uh, those. Grab, grab a couple of those bricks right there. I'm hoping they don't need them. Thank you. We got a couple more. Uh, grab the green ones? Nah. Alright. This one we had talked about trying to snake it out. But it, it is just slam full right there. So the homeowners were okay with us just adding an elbow. And I wanted to show you. The other end of this, somebody put one of these grates on it, and all that does is collect the debris. So I get what they're thinking, you want to keep stuff from going up in there, but the PVC pipe that we use is smooth, so you, nothing can go up in there, it, it just, there's nothing to, you can't pack peanuts in there or hickory nuts or anything, you can't build nesting materials in the PVC, so I like to leave my outfalls open. So this pipe is just slammed full. Yeah. There's no way. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I pulled a couple big ones out too, and I mean we could try snaking it out, but I think we're just wasting our time. It's just gonna grow back. Yeah. Especially with this. This is the perforated. This is the perforated stuff. That's just gonna be an invitation to regrow. Yeah. And stop back up. Put an elbow on it. How's that? Good. Okay. Okay, for this one we just put a, an elbow and a little tiny extension right there. Because we've got a full bubble of fall on this concrete. So there's about a quarter bubble right there. And there's about a half bubble right there. So as long as we get this to drop on the concrete, it'll sheet away down to the creek. Okay, on this side, we're just catching this into a solid pipe. We're going to be running it above ground over to the corner there. So I grabbed a couple of bricks from that corner right there. And I think they're going to look better over here. So he walked by and was real happy with that. Coupler and options. Okay. Yep, full. <laughs> Not surprised. Nice. That holly is just right there, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, you want to stand on the pipe? Beautiful, but it's good enough. Workable? Yep. Nice. I don't see them anywhere, so I'm assuming so, yes. Okay, for the neighbor. Down. Down. All right, you got it. Where's the hammer? That way. 
Go ahead. Yep. That's her. Okay. So, question is, are we okay with 20, 22 maybe? Yeah, 22. And another stick. Or 45. There's a 22, check it. 22 makes it there. Makes it perfect, what? What would the 45 look like? Oh, way off. 45 would put it there to that piece. Yeah. I guess 22 it is. Yeah. Half a stick or even a full stick? Full stick. Just a. Might as well. Okay. All right. This last gutter here, I just popped this little riser off, and this thing is wide open in here. So I just cut it right here. If it's open, we'll probably just keep it in there. This is because this is clogged back in here. We got this corner gutter here caught and we just did an above ground pipe here because of all the roots. So we've got it hanging off out here. It's gonna kind of disperse between that driveway and running down this hill. So we should be in pretty good shape. Now, if they ever did want to bury this, we definitely could. But all these trees, this little dogwood here, and this red maple, or sugar maple, maple may be in trouble with the roots. So for now, we got the water off the foundation. This job was definitely a pain in the butt. And so, trying to get that corrugated cleaned out from the catch basin, First of all, the outfall, the, the, the pipe wasn't the right pipe that we thought it was, and so we were just wasting our time with that. And then we finally did get the snake to go through there, but just because the snake pokes through, you can't really say that it's we, we've cleaned it out because there's still a ton of roots and organic matter in there. And so we really spent a bunch of time trying to get that thing clean, cleaned out until the water flowed clear. So once we had the, the catch basin full of water and it was flowing clear through there, then we started to feel pretty good about having it cleaned out. And so we spent way too much time on that. And then we ended up turning that or installing that PVC along the foundation there. That was extra. And so that took a lot, a lot of extra effort and we got it flowing pretty well. It, there wasn't a great place to send it to. So we, we dumped it out on the sidewalk there. And so this job was just a, a huge pain. And I, I hate to sound like I'm, like I'm complaining, but I really, really, it was, it was just a lot of extra work trying to get that corrugated cleaned out. That's the problem with trying to clean out corrugated. Now, I'm usually all for using corrugated pipe, but you just don't know how it's going to go. You don't know where it comes out. You don't know if it's crushed. You don't know if it's packed full of roots. And so everybody always wants me to clean out their corrugated pipes, and you just can't guarantee anything with it. And so I've done a few of them and struggled, and I think I'm just finished trying to clean out corrugated. So replacing corrugated with PVC, that we can do. The trencher goes right through the corrugated, you put some PVC in, and problems are all over with. And so I hate to sound like I'm complaining on this video, but I did want to show you, and it's been a while since I've done this job too, and I have talked to the homeowner, and everything's working really well, but I don't want to sound like I'm complaining too much on this video, but I really wanted to give you a feel for what this cleaning out corrugated looks like and it's just it's kind of a crapshoot because you just don't know what you're going to run into with it so no rain footage on this one i hope you all understand and with that i hope you all have enjoyed this video thanks for watching if you all like corrugated pipe as much as i do make sure you support the channel and you know what to do here you can also become a channel member, you can give me a super thanks, you can become a patron or buy me a coffee and the links are below. Thanks again for watching and keep on using corrugated.